Now, to better understand our snowpack, we use the evaluator card, and more specifically, the purple box with the avalanche conditions. We run down that list and answer those questions based on where we're going. And the very first thing on the evaluator card in the purple box is the regional danger rating. Is the avalanche danger rating considerable or higher? Now, you're going to go to avalanche.ca or download the Avalanche Canada app to answer that question. And make sure you pay particular attention to which elevation you're gonna be spending your day in. Are you gonna be staying below tree line, or are you going to be going up to tree line or into the alpine? And if that danger rating is considerable or anything higher than that, you're gonna give yourself a check mark. And the second one on this card is a persistent avalanche problem. And the question asks, is there a persistent or deep persistent slab problem in the snowpack? And you answer that question by going to the problems tab on the avalanche bulletin and seeing if either a persistent slab or a deep persistent slab problem exists. Now, what these problems are, are deep, deep down in our snowpack, deeper than what a lot of us can really find on our own. There are many, many professionals all over the province that are digging profiles, digging into the snow, keeping tabs on layers way down and for us as recreationists the avalanche bulletin is the best way for us to gather this information now it's important that we pay attention to these problems because 78 percent of avalanche fatalities here in canada since 1996 happen on persistent or deep persistent slab problems the third question on that card is slab avalanches are there signs of slab avalanches in the area from today or yesterday and there's a few ways that we answer this question First, we go to the avalanche summary on the avalanche bulletin and see if they say anything. The other thing that we do is as we're driving to the mountains, as we're moving through the ski resort, and as we're moving through the backcountry, we're looking up at the start zones of avalanche paths and we're seeing if we can spot any crown lines. And if we've had natural triggered av slab avalanches in the last 24 to 48 hours, then human triggered avalanches are still very likely. And the fourth one on that card is signs of instability. Are there signs of snowpack instability, including whoops, shooting cracks, or drum-like sounds? Now, the thing with this is you're never gonna get it if you just stay on the skin track. So it's very important that you step off of the skin track every once in a while, especially in these nice big open meadows, and give yourself an opportunity to feel a whoomph. Jump on some very tiny little humps in the snow see if you can get any shooting cracks going. You know, these are great places for us to learn about the snowpack before we get up into bigger terrain. If you're just gonna stay on the skin track, you'll never really learn anything about the snowpack until you get to the top. And the next one on the evaluator card is recent loading. Has there been loading within the past 48 hours, including roughly 30 centimeters of new snow or more, significant wind transport, or rain. So rain, again, that's an easy one to answer. Do we have rain right now? That's a significant load onto the snowpack. Is it windy? We're gonna be looking at those leeward slopes where that wind is blowing into, and do we have a significant amount of new snow blowing into that leeward terrain? Or is it currently snowing right now? If you're kind of brushing snow off of your shoulders, off of your gear, every time you come to a stop, then there's a good chance that you're approaching a lot of new snow. And the question is, where are we at? Do we have 10 centimeters? Do we have 20 centimeters? Or are we at 30 centimeters? And if we are trending to 30 centimeters of new snow, then we should probably be trending out of the mountains and getting back to the parking lot. And that last one on the avalanche conditions is critical warming. Has there been a recent rapid rise in temperature to near zero degrees Celsius, or is the upper snowpack wet due to strong sun, above freezing air temperatures, or rain? And so rain's one that's, that's pretty obvious. If it's raining, we're gonna get a, a rapid rise of that snow on the surface. The other big one is gonna be sun. Now that's only gonna affect those direct south-facing slopes, like the slope that's behind me. But the other one to consider is just the air temperature itself, above zero air temperature. And I use kind of how I'm dressed to tell me whether I'm at that point or not. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. I've got my baseball hat on, my sunglasses on. I'm looking for somebody with sunscreen. There's a good chance that we're dealing with critical warming at this moment. Other things that you want to look for is pinwheeling that's on the surface of the snow, 
as well as the snow falling off of the trees or snow melting and dripping off of the trees as well. Now, once you've answered all of those questions in the avalanche conditions, you tally up your total number and then answer the terrain characteristic questions over in the blue box. You wanna answer those terrain characteristics based on a slope that you plan to go up or a slope that you come down. Once you've done that, you find where your answer is on the back side of the card and you figure out if it's not recommended or if extra caution or regular amounts of caution are recommended.